You did it, Ged. You turned music into magic and burned shadow to make light. You are become the Holy Ma's own weapon of transformation. The ordeal is over. The true will has prevailed. On the floor before you, a circle of light appears, expands, intensifies. A column rises from its center. Hanging from it is a locket on a silver chain. It's the first treasure you've won. You pick it up and examine it. Two halves of silver hinged and clasped, with a rune in that strange alien script carved into its face. It's weird how it gives you a deep sense of familiarity. You open it to look inside. What you see is a photo of your mother, before she lost your dad, before she started drinking. As you keep looking though, the image seems to show that young woman from the bookstore, and then other faces. What they all have in common is, they give you the deepest sense of peace and wholeness you've ever known. Like all the questions you didn't even know enough to ask have been answered. The image speaks. She says, Ged, at your birth, you were given a living portrait of the Holy Ma to carry with you in life. To keep you company and soothe you and call on you to realize all your potential. That's your soul, Ged. That's me. The truth of her words is so obvious as to be unquestionable, but the implications stagger you. You have a soul, and if you have a soul, you probably need to rethink a whole bunch of your assumptions about life and the universe you live in. Hey Ged, your soul says, snapping you out of your stunned reverie. I feel like dancing. Hit play.